privilege to get the Gucci Alchemist Garden 1921. And then the woman was saying that like, this is the last sample that they have. And essentially it won like some Fifi like fragrance award or something like that. So apparently it's like super popular. So she was like, this is the last sample I have. Like, you're so lucky you got it. I was like, wow. This one is from Diptyque. Joe Malone. Blackberry and Bay acquired. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> these are all of Jay's perfume samples. This bag has six of them. And then these bags have like two each. And I went to Bloomingdale's and I'm really starting to collect them. Wow. Great work. I took the containers out, or like I took the merchant packets out because like the Oh but were I don't labeled. I don't oh the bottles were labeled? Mine like all not. the Dior ones and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. But the Bloomingdale's one were like the generic containers, so they gave me like the bags. Also, wow, this is a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the fragrance of the year one? Yeah. Gucci 19... Gucci 1921. <laughs> yeah. Maybe today we can finish finding all of these. Oh yeah, I went to like Bloomingdale's again, but it was kind of a struggle because that lady was like weird or whatever. Uh -huh. And then she wouldn't give me any samples. And then also um, she gave me like two random samples, which I didn't ask for whatsoever. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but um, they do have like some of the Dior ones that we were missing. So uh -huh. I feel like in the worst case, we can just go there and like okay. smell those in the store or something like that. Like, okay. yeah, okay. Okay, we are here in Sephora trying Jazz Club because it's been hard to get a sample of it. So we will do it live right now. I remember I smelled this when I went like perfume window shopping with Selena and I really didn't like it. It smells like medicine or something. <laughs> It's not getting any better. <laughs> three, three out of ten. It kind of gives you like a head rush. I it's feel. like... I think everyone should just have like flowery, floral, cute perfume that smells. But it's like... Maybe it smells supposed to smell different on people, but it feels yeah. like... Like I feel like I would get a headache from smelling it because it's like really top note heavy for whatever reason. Yeah. It smells like old people, alcohol, and like medicine. I'll combine them all. Yeah, I, really I don't, like, I don't like in general my perfume taste when there's like strong blasts of alcohol. Yeah. Either as a note or even when you just like initially spray it. I don't like it at all. And I know that it like changes on skin and stuff like that, but I just like don't like it even if you just spray it in the air. I can't imagine how this would get any better. I don't know. It's it's a low score. This will definitely be like one of my bottom tiers. But it's okay. At least we have to smell it. F, F tier. Like, yeah, lowest tier. F tier. Sure. <laughs> but it's okay. We have to try it. So we do got to I think try this it. would be in the F tier along with that Killian Dark Lord one that we smelled like two days ago. I was also not a fan. I think that one to me was better than this one, so I would, I would, I mean, I like that one I remember slightly more than you did. Uh -huh. I think that one I'm giving a D, and then this one I'm giving an F. That's fair. I think this is like, yeah, they're both just Fs to me. Maybe I like the other ones more. Saks Fifth Saks. Avenue, which is like literally the department store that we checked last because we've been to like Nordstrom, Sephora, multiple Bloomingdale's, cross and country, too. cross country, yeah, in both New York. And we did not find Penn Halligan anywhere, but it's been acquired now. So we will, we will now do the test. I like the head a lot though, it's like a... Oh yeah, I think we didn't, all different. we didn't actually like talk about this before, but maybe sh we should also rate like the bottles. Okay, bo bottle review. I like how the heads are all different, but I feel like this would be really convenient to take away. 
People don't really travel with full-size perfume bottles anyway, though, right? Yeah. It's mostly like a thing to display on your dresser. For that, I honestly don't like the deer head and it freaks me out. Wow. I would never have this in my cute. house. Okay, let's get to the smelling. Okay. Smell like okay. <laughs> also, the color of it, kind of strange, actually. I feel like I never see this color perfume. It's, it's, it's like a green pond inky, water. Inky. It looks like um, Central Park Lake water. It kind of smells like Jazz Club, but less like, I, sickening. I hate it less, yeah. for sure. It's it has like, a little bit like grassy type of smell, or more nature-like, whereas I felt like Jazz Club was really like... Kind of reminds me of like... Alcoholic. Gosh. This? Because like it's alcoholic-ish, but like there's like a mint Actually, this fresh is fresh tinge to it. Now my head feels like light too. It's the same as the Jaws Club. Okay, initially I liked it better, but now I hate it just as much. I think out of the three that I dislike, including this one, this one I dislike the least, but like they're all like pretty similarly ranked in terms of dislike. So is this a D? Or is also I think D minus. Have you been saying F or D the other two? F or the other two. F, but this is a little better, so it's D minus? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to just say F. Understandable. Yeah, because I don't like the bottle either. <laughs> I like the bottle, that's probably why it's like ranked higher. Hello, welcome back again. This is day, I don't know, a different day. And we're going to record us <laughs> selling some of Jay's perfumes again so we have a lot of samples here but I think it's a good idea if we don't like try to you're not in the camera <laughs> but I think it's a good idea if we don't if we try if we try not to do all of them like at once because we'll get burnt out and like not be able to tell the difference anymore so I think we'll just do a couple until we're tired and also I want to show my Jay postcard okay Okay. Should we start with like- What should we start with? Should we do like all the Gucci ones at once? I really like this one. I've already this smelled it. Like I smelled fragrance it before. Yeah, it said they won like fragrance of the year. This year. It smells so different from the other ones we smelled. But I like it. This is S tier in my opinion. I want to buy it now after smelling it. I really liked it. I like it. It's not like heavy the way that the other perfumes you tried were. I feel like the, this is like a totally different category of them. This one's like pretty floral and light compared to the other ones which are like woodsy or musky. Mm -hmm. It's like a tiny bit sweet but not really. Anyway, Gucci 1921 S tier. I think like A tier because I wish it was like more, like based off of my preference, I wish it was like more florally, but I think the bottle, at least like out of the whole perfume collection screenshot, you can like see right here, I think the bottle is like the most distinct out of all of them because it's green and I feel like I never see green colored perfumes. I feel like the bottle is really cute and it looks kind of like vintage style, yeah. which I like. So like, I'd be really happy like displaying that bottle like on a shelf or something. Mm -hmm. Like it's very cute. Agreed. Okay. Okay, A tier for me. This is also in an unlabeled bottle. This one is from Bloomingdale's. It's Bulgari Men Terra Essence Eau de Parfum. Looking at the bottle, not that interesting. Maybe it feels nice, but. Yeah, it looks pretty generic. Yeah. Not bad but there's like a smoky tone to it note I this, mean. this is back to the first category yeah but it's not as strong as the other ones i feel like also the bottle like you can see the liquid is kind of pink here that's pretty cute oh that's interesting i don't think i like this i don't like it either but, but i don't like, hate it as much as the other i think maybe yeah. c tier for me yeah c tier c tier what does it smell like? I can't really tell. It's, I feel like the top note is just kind of like very overpowering on this one. It just smells like 
If I smelled this on someone, I would have assumed they like just went out to like smoke a cigarette and they came back in. <laughs> Cause it's not like strong, but it's like the, it has a smoky lingering note to it. I don't know why I thought of this, but it's giving like male real estate agent vibes. Mm. Yeah, it seems like something that an older person would wear. Yeah. Okay, C tier. C tier. Okay, next. Um, next one is Dior Homme Eau de Cologne, but the fresh musk note we couldn't find, so we have... I other... think I smelled that one in the store. Mm. We have the Dior Homme Sport as like the next closest thing. Should we try this? Yeah. Also, yeah. he has both Dior Homme colognes so he has both uh fresh musk and just like regular dior own cologne do we have the other one no it's just okay but they're all like variations so it should be fine yeah okay the lady who gave this sample to me explained why this was like it's like spring not not like a very fine mist the lady who like gave us me explained why it was different but i forget what the difference was oh it's not bad Mm. I like it. Yeah. Wait, why? Why is this one kind of good? This is more similar to the Gucci one. It's pretty. It it's even sweeter. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I would say this one is S tier, honestly. I think, think it's slightly too sweet for me. I don't know what the bottle looks like, but we'll have a photo. Here. Oh, I like the bottle. The bottle's cute. Is like it the based same on the, the picture. Sport one? Oh, I don't know. The fresh musk follows. I'm assuming that these like are similar, or at least in the same like category. If they're all named the same, mm -hmm. maybe yeah, slightly different song. notes. Maybe I will like one of the actual like non-sport versions, mm -hmm. and I would put that in S tier. But this is A tier to me. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. It's very light too. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to see this, but it says blackberry and bay cologne. That's right. I don't love the bottle, honestly, because every Joe Malone bottle looks they, exactly They all look the exact same. pretty generic, you know? But the bottle itself is okay. I think the cap is not that nice, though. It smells like when my mom goes out to the garden and, like, picks mint leaves. And she smells like plants when she comes back in. I mean, I don't hate that, but I yeah. think it's, like, very situational. Like, I yeah. would not wear this everywhere. It does it have, really like, a very nice. fresh scent. Yeah. To go to the farmer's market. Yeah, I would wear this like somewhere outdoorsy in nature. Farmer's market? Picnic date? Yeah. Amusement park? It's just- I don't, I don't know. I don't just... smell blackberry. Maybe like the bay leaves? I'm guessing like bay just means bay I think, leaves. I think the bay is really strong. Yeah, but like I don't- A little blackberry. blackberry. A little bit of blackberry. What does it even smell like? You don't know what blackberries smell like? It's just like- like the bay leaf is definitely stronger. Yeah. Not bad, but I would say like B tier. Yeah, I will agree with B tier. Like, I like it, but I don't think I want to smell like this all the time. Like, it's pretty situational in my opinion. Yeah. And the last one for today is Blue Labo's Santal 33 perfume. Wow. Very cute. Packaging is cute. I like They're the Blue Labo bottles. Whoop! Oh, it's annoying because it's not a spray. Oh. Um, okay, well, they didn't give us an actual spray. Does this work? Not really. No. <laughs> I'm scared. Is it like you have to like, tap it in? Yeah, should we just put it on? Yeah. I spilled it. Well, this is like a really famous perfume. Like apparently a lot of celebs used to wear this like in the last five years or something. I've heard about this one before for sure. I feel like it's hard for me to smell it. Put on more. This one smells a lot to me like Chinese school supplies. If you know, you know. <laughs> like that- It smells like something old. Like that specific rubber eraser in China. Do you know what that is? 
I don't hate it, but I don't think I necessarily want to smell like this all the time either. Like, yeah. this is another situational type perfume if I was like... In Chinese school. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I was like gonna have a day where I just like sit in a cafe on a rainy day and like walk around in a bookstore type beat. It would be a good perfume for that. <laughs> I would say it's C tier. I feel like it's hard. I don't really know what the smell is. I would say B. I like the smell. Maybe A. I've also heard for this one, it changes a lot based on like your skin. Wait, smell it on me. It smells smoky or noise. Wait, I don't smell it on you at all. I put it like here. Yeah, it smells totally different on her. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's why I don't like it. <laughs> but... Maybe you should get a sample of this one because it smells really different on us. So try it before you get it. But yeah, B tier for me, C tier for you. Yeah. Okay. Should we take a break? Yeah, let's take okay. a break. <laughs> See you guys later. Okay, so we have recruited a special guest. Hello, everybody. Introduce yourself. I am Tiff. We're in a special location. Okay. If you know where. If you know you. If you know where, <laughs> don't don't dox me. I come here too often. Okay, so we have the rest of the perfumes. A recap is we look at the picture of the perfume bottle, rate the bottle, smell the perfume, and then you rate it like S through F tier. Tobacco vanilla. Okay. Okay, we're trying. There's a photo of it here. We're trying Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. We got a sample from Nordstrom. It's Tobacco Vanille. Okay, my issue with the Tom Ford bottles is they all also look the same. Mm -hmm. But the bottles are kind of like... The bottles are kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not like Jo Malone where it's really boring looking. The Tom Ford ones yes, they look are. more like bold. You know? Okay, so I spray it. I feel like it's the male version of the Jo Malone bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Should I spray it? Yeah. Okay, let's taste test, smell test. Taste test. Tobacco vanilla. Mm -hmm. I already you smell, smell it. it. I smell it from over here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Look at my zoom. Honestly, <laughs> like vanilla. Actually, like, yeah, I'm really glad there's get... no tobacco. I think it smells more like cinnamony. Yeah, it smells good, but it seems like, um, dude, you're so right with the cinnamon because I feel like it smells like something that I would like during like winter, like, win yeah, yeah, like Christmas or December. Like, if I was wearing a scarf for some reason, mm -hmm. I would like the scent. It smells like the furniture section of Macy's really during Christmas, during Christmas. Yeah, it's just kind of like cinnamon, it's, and it's spice. giving like pine needle. It's pretty good, honestly. I think I would say maybe S tier, but like when it's the right occasion for it. Wow. It's pretty good though. I really like it. It also reminds me of Kohl's. I would give it a C. I think, oh I think D for me because I would hate if a guy wore this. I hate the smell actually. Oh, I would hate you? if someone walked up to me smelling like this. I don't even want my apartment to smell like this. Yeah, I, I don't want to smell I like this. I think it's just like... Okay, I, I think it's a good smell if you have something that smells like it, but it's not overpowering and doesn't fill the room with the scent. Does that make sense? This one is very overpowering. It's like a scratch sure. and sniff smell. Like if you scratch and sniff one of those like... Oh my god, it literally... Like a gingerbread like... man? No, no, no. You know how it's like a like little sticker you'll scratch and like you yeah. sniff it? That's yeah. what it smells like. I, I don't... I... Wait, actually... Okay, now that I think of it, it smells like Bath and Body Works. Okay, maybe yeah. it's like B tier more so. Okay. I'm gonna change Pretty my good. answer to D tier. <laughs> I'm I'm a D D D B B. Okay. 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 Tobacco nice. Meal. Next is fucking fabulous. This one. Okay, this is also a Tom Ford. The bottle kind of looks the exact same. It does basically. It's just like silver it's and slightly of smaller, and I think the cap is bigger or something for some reason. Yeah, slightly more narrow but longer neck. I kind of like this one more. It smells more like sophisticated than the other one. I'm gonna have to change my answer for the first one to F. Wow. Wait, let me sell this one. Because if if we're working with these, like, 
I just, that's not my scent. Mommy's sn sniffing the mic. It smells like laundry, kind of. It smells clean. I'm also like shocked because my impression was just that all the Jade perfumes would smell really heavy and smoky after the first ones I tried. But there is lots of range actually. Like maybe out of the 15 perfumes Jay has, like the cinnamon one is one to use like twice a year. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the last couple that we've tried, at least like three or four of them were like, oh, it'd be good for like a specific occasion. So maybe yeah. that's why he has so many because he's like trying to get them for different moods and stuff like that too. This mm -hmm. is my take. Imagine you're hugging Jay and then you smell this. Why are you Stop hugging thinking him? about hugging Jay. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> oh my God, I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> don't worry. I don't like Jay. What I'm saying, imagine you like here, hug me, hug me. <laughs> what do you think? I think I would actually give this a C. I think this is a B to me. I don't, maybe even an A. Did I rate anything I else like an B. A? It just doesn't smell like there's anything special about it. It's just like neutral to me. I think like B level is neutral. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I'd be like, wow, this smells so good. But yeah. I don't think it's like really offensive and I wouldn't be mad if someone like smelled like this basically. Yeah, not it would, not, it would not change my opinion of a person. It smells like linen or something. I don't know. It smells really someone, clean. Someone like just like showered. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next, next one is Bamboo, Bamboo Harmony Perfume by Killian. I think we saw the other Killian bottles. I don't know why it's like very blue. I don't feel like I like the look of this bottle. Yeah, just... Mm, this one. You like this? No, oh, not bad. It smells clean and fresh. I feel like it's a little more like... It's a little even lighter than the Tom Ford one. Like that one is a little more like deeper or medium. This mm -hmm. one seems like more fresh. Mm -hmm. A. Really? Yeah. A. I don't want to say S yet, just in case. But I think maybe B also on this one. I feel like it smells like the cleaning detergent at Equinox. I, I yeah, it's like of, a nice like you can't like I feel like you can't go wrong. Like with a little this. bit. Like you can wear it anytime. A little bit like lemon zesty. Yeah, I kind it's of giving like it's giving kind of cleaning cleaning scent to me. I like it though. I like it. I, I like would it. Say like B plus tier. I don't think it's good enough for me to say A, but it's like better than average. Okay. Oh, we have different like preferences and smell. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, everyone everyone does. I think. Yeah. Okay, Dark Lord. Dark Lord. This bottle looks the same as the other Killian bottle, but it's gray which is slightly better, I guess. But the name is like very edgy for no reason. Yeah. Is it here? We already smelled it in the store. Oh, we already smelled it. Oh, then I don't need to review it. Dipti La Am Don Lo Eau de Parfum? Who speaks French? Dipti La Am Don Lo Eau de Parfum. However, this is supposed to be. It nice. means. It's just ombre and water. Diptyque bottle, same. I mean, all the diptyque bottles, again, kind of look the same. Yeah. I like it better than the Tom Ford. It does look more similar to like the Joe Malone because there's a lot of glass, but at least the shape is like kind of interesting. What do you think? I feel like the bottle looks more similar to this one. Hold Tom on. Ford bottle is horrible in my opinion. Hold, hold on, I don't even need to smell it. My nose is itchy. Bro, it, it reminds me of a fruit. Something a, like a vegetable. It's, it reminds me of uh, bell peppers left out to rot. <gasps> oh my god. This exactly. is an ass. She ate, she ate with that description. I it's, was about yeah. to sneeze. It smells like cut up like Yo, I'm not a fan of that one. I don't yeah. like that one. Okay, I, feel, one I feel like this one can trigger your allergies if you're not careful. Yeah. Okay, I'm not a fan of that at all. It's Personally, empty. I don't hate it, but again, like I, I don't, like... I don't think someone should wear that. I would give it a D. It's not as bad as some of the other ones we've smelled, mm -hmm. honestly. D. Ooh. It's not like the thing is, I like bell peppers. 
But it smells like bell peppers left it's out like, to rot. It's like there's nothing in addition to the bell peppers. Yeah. It just smells like veggie. Yeah. What, what do you rate? I think F tier. Yeah. I think me. the smoky ones are the worst. I so don't say this is F or Sauvage? Yeah, Dior Sauvage perfume. <laughs> okay. Dior <laughs> Sauvage basic male perfume, not gonna Wait, lie. did we already spray that one? No. Oh, okay. Why? Oh no, I was like, cause I, I dropped on the floor. Um, the bottle for this one, I, I handled it in the store and I like that it has a magnetic cap. Mm-hmm. Triggered. I already know so many fuckboys who wear this. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't need to smell it. I don't need to- I already smell it. I, I already know. I had this conversation with Sanjim earlier when yeah. we were talking about my favorite scents. And I'm telling you, so many people I know who wear this, they're just- It, it smells, smells like stereotypical, like, male perfume. It's like, if you don't know what to look for, you just get something that smells like this. Yeah. It's- I think it's the most basic perfume. I would say C tier just because it's, like, average. Yeah. Like, I, if I smell it, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, you smell good, but I'm not gonna think, oh my god, you smell bad. I think kind of- I think I would actually say D because it annoys me. <laughs> you? <laughs> like, the scent itself is not that bad. It's a little, like, associations aside, it's okay, but, like, kind of overpowering. I'm gonna give it a D. D? Yeah. Okay. I, I would say C, but after that second whiff, I was like, I'm not even- I'm just full from food and I already feel sick. <laughs> Out of this batch, I don't think we had too many good ones that we liked. I like the Killian one. Killian? This Killian. first one? Yeah. I feel like we had some that we liked. Can I smell the Killian one again? Just gotta protect your nostrils. Thank you. Okay, we, need, uh, we have- this on that thing. We have maybe one or two more that <sighs> we will try at home, but this is- Okay. This is the final round. Any conclusion, thoughts? I just needed- I just wanted to smell the Killian one after smelling the Dior Sauvage one so that I could leave on a high note. It's levels two, you and I know. Be humble. Stay humble. Um, I think only significant note I have to add is that I'm glad Jay has a range of perfumes and he likes to smell cinnamony on some days or smoky and tobacco on some days or like a pile of clean laundry. It's pretty nice. Very tasteful of him. So true. Jay will never do anything wrong ever and he's always correct. What if he wore the F tier one only when I saw you? I would just say break up with me already. You don't have to do <laughs> Okay. Final segment. We will do the last stretch of perfumes. Shield of protection. Shield of protection. Okay, this looks exactly like the other Killian bottle, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I kind of, I like it. That's First of really all, cool. I like it, but I don't know. I'm like thinking really hard if I should put it like, like how much I like it. Like, is it S tier worthy or is it just A or B tier? But I do like it. It smells hella light. Like, I sprayed it three times on the paper too. Yeah. I feel like to me, this is a good blend between some of the more like nature inspired scents versus like the more sophisticated ones. I feel like it kind of has notes of both. It smells like clean laundry and like a leaf. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. It's not my favorite. I would say it's like B tier because maybe B plus tier because I think it's a little bit better than average. I feel like I'm gonna say A. Mm. A tier. Okay. Yeah. Enjoyed. Very good. Uh, Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Another boring Tom Ford bottle though. Smells okay. I think it's a D to me based off the initial. I would say C. It's also just like the same as the last one where I don't smell any obvious notes. It just smells like light and fresh. Really? I think the opposite. It doesn't have light or fresh vibes to me whatsoever. Wow. This has like 
old person library cigar wow. club vibes to me. I don't smell that at all. The old okay. people vibes. <laughs> Maybe you guys should try this one on your own because it's also clearly controversial. Yeah. I don't think it smells like an old person. I feel, like it's, a... I feel like it's more like sophisticated old person type beat. Hmm. It's like, okay. I would say C tier. It's like average. I also think C because I'm not like personally that into it, but you might be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not like bad smelling like some of the other ones mm -hmm. to me. Okay. It's just okay. Yes. Yeah, I think it's less okay than the Killian Shield one. I can't. It's like hard to phrase why though. Maybe because there's no leaf note and I like the leaf note. I, I like. I think both of us in general seem to like more, like light or natural yeah. scents versus like yeah okay next one the diptyque one that you have wow i actually have the bottle for this one what are your thoughts on the bottle oh thoughts on the bottle so what's cute about the diptyque bottles is that all of them have this like shape and cap kind of some of the labels are like inverted black and white but i feel like it's a pretty like sturdy in general um perfume bottle but what i don't like is the cap is it, it just doesn't feel like very satisfying it's kind of like not plastic it's not plastic and it's not metal i don't know like what exactly yeah like it's a little weird if you can go to the store and pick it up yourself like it feels like thick you'll, plastic. you'll know what i mean yeah it's just kind of not like super satisfying versus what was the other bottle? Dude, the Sauvage bottle, the cap on the Sauvage bottle, highly satisfying. Like the magnetic one? Yeah, like this is not like that. But then the other thing about the Diptyque bottles that is cute is that like on the inside of the label, they have like different pictures. So this one, Tam Dao, is like, I don't know, an elephant in a jungle, which is like pretty adorable actually. Yeah, that's my review of the Diptyque bottle. What about you? I think it's cute. Um, I like it better than the other brands that have like standardized bottles like Jo Malone because it looks more unique or more like decorative and also I'm guessing like different scents have like different labels on it so it's yeah. not just like the same type of label. I like that. Also it's cute, it feels like a little like cough drop <laughs> or a big cough drop I guess but yeah I do wish like the cap was also like better. Yeah, it the cap work. is the weakness. Yeah, it feels like it's very protective though. Like if you like turned it over, it wouldn't like leak. Yeah, but also I saw in Jay's video, the "What's in My Bag" video. He keeps it like in his like he carries like the full one. He carries the whole bottle with him because he pulled out the whole bottle from his bag. So I think I agree with your statement that the cap must be very protective. Yeah, and the bottle is like. I mean, it's made out of glass, but it seems pretty thick and stuff, and like it won't shatter easily. So, mm -hmm. I guess this is a good uh, travel bottle if you're trying to travel with a whole bottle of perfume yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. Okay, let's smell this one. It smells leafy, tobacco y. Dude, that's it. C, D tier. <laughs> I really like this one because I like the nature vibe. I feel like it's not very heavy, but to me it's like nature, tobacco-y, or like woody, maybe is like more appropriate. It reminds me of, okay, in India there's this like root thing that you use to like clean your teeth. It's literally like tree bark and it's like, I don't know the English name, it's like called doctor. So like when you rub it on your teeth, it'll like make your gums turn orange, but your teeth, it like naturally whitens them if you use it more and more. But like it has such a rooty, like woody smell. It smells like, or it tastes like tree bark in your mouth. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> okay. But this is less like strong. It's like a, a milder version of that. But yeah, I think it was slightly florally in addition to the woody stuff. I would like it more. This is just like, I don't like purely floral scents sometimes because they can be like too sweet. So I like, if you like more nature inspired scents that aren't sweet, I feel like this is a good one. Mm -hmm. 
to me it's like an A tier. I think it's only not S. I mean, obviously I like it a lot because I even like bought it, but I think it's not S tier to me. Maybe because of the same reason that you can't wear it in every situation. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. And then I can give more in-depth notes on this because I actually own it. Um, for me personally, I feel like compared, I have a different diptyque one that I use like daily. I forgot what it's called though. No, it's in my bathroom. Whatever. I get it. <laughs> yeah, so we can know the name. <laughs> um, but compared to my other diptyque perfume, I feel like Tam Dao like fades very quickly on me. For example, I use like one spray of the other one, which is called what? The Saint Germain. Wait. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. oh Capital. Capital. Yeah. So this is the other one I have. Oh, I didn't notice that like the, the color, color is different. different. Yeah. But when I use Eau Capital, I use like one spray and I can smell it on myself for like six hours, like continuously. But I use Tam Zhao and then I spray like maybe two or three sprays and it only lasts on me for like three or four hours. And then I feel like it disappears really quickly. So I think the longevity of Diptyque perfumes is like pretty variable, but also this is like a totally different scent, obviously. So it might just be like, different because of that yeah mm -hmm. okay this is the end of all of the perfumes that are on the picture posted here um what do you think of jay's perfume collection as a whole there is a lot of diversity in scents um obviously we can't speak to how long lasting they are except for this one so it's like i guess hard to describe parts of his oh, collection. Oh, that's also but... why I feel like he probably just carries that bottle. Because it like fades well. Yeah! <laughs> I guess. There's like easier ways to transport perfume, like your own little like diffuser bottle. I just find it really funny that he carries a whole perfume bottle. Like, why? Maybe it was just for the video, but it's hard to spell. <laughs> he literally just chucks the entire thing into his pack. Yeah. But yeah, I think there's a lot of diversity. Like, there's lots of scents that I forgot their names but there were some S and A tier scents for me yes. and a handful of F D tier scents I'll probably make like a chart too for okay. both of us so I we think can there's see. like a healthy distribution in terms of what I prefer in scents in Jay's collection mm. yeah I think to me I'm also surprised by like all the variety I kind of assumed that like with one person's like perfume collection like people are kind of drawn to the same sorts of things so i thought they would all be more similar but it was like shockingly very diverse and stuff and then i think he might also have a tendency to like get very situational perfumes because i think for a lot of them <clears throat> i was saying like this is like a pretty good scent but i couldn't wear it everywhere but i would wear it in this one in like these three situations where I was gonna do something specific so maybe that's also a reason why he has so many of them because like it's like I don't know being prepared for these specific things or something like that mm -hmm. but that's pretty fun I feel like if you have the ability to own a lot of perfumes like yeah why not do that yeah honestly for the ones that are only in specific occasions I would just get samples <laughs> and yeah. use them in the specific occasion but it's okay Jay is rich so true <laughs> and he really likes perfumes in general so mm -hmm. i guess sure okay that's it it was pretty fun smelling different perfumes though because it was fun i would recommend that everyone go and try to get samples of perfumes because it is fun in general you can get them at we got a lot of these at nordstrom and bloomingdale's but bloomingdale's in new york where i am like doesn't really give samples that much but i guess you had like pretty good luck in san francisco mm -hmm. fun it's a good thing to do if you have nothing else to do recommend i recommend too make sure to like comment and subscribe oh so true okay see you next time bye, bye.